guys, this is Lorena Magana with New Filmmakers Los Angeles and Nouveau TV, coming from the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood. Today, I'm talking to director Francisco Lorite about his film, Mediation. Let's take a look at a clip from the film. Security said you were here. You're early. Am I? Just eager to get it over with, I guess. Right. Absolutely. Me too. Would you make sure Tommy gets this? It's not his birthday, you know. So let's talk about your film, Mediation. <clears throat> let's. Why did you choose to create such a hyper-stylized short film with Mediation? Well, I, um, I started with the, the story of a, a man and a woman. Um, it was about love and it didn't go well. And so because that is the essential elements of a film noir, uh, film noir is usually stylized. And I thought that for this particular piece, and also because it is a short, uh, it was fitting that it would be stylized. I think it, 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 supports, the, it supports the story. And how did you know that you wanted it to be this particular story um, versus, you know, something else? Because film noir can be, I mean, you can, you can pretty much put any story to film noir and have it work. But why did you want this particular story? Actually, I didn't. You didn't? No. I, uh, we were supposed to shoot something completely different. Uh, and unfortunately, it, it fell apart because of many reasons. One of them, uh, it was a sci-fi movie uh, that had a lot of uh, visual effects. And the visual effects company, unfortunately, I'm laughing, but it's not funny, uh, went bankrupt. And so we were stuck without an option there. And so I went to Bill Winnett, who's the uh, producer of Mediation, and I said, uh, he had uh, found some people to actually put up money for us to make a film. And so I said, please uh, set up a meeting. Let me go back to them and pitch them something else and, uh, so that they don't take the money away. And so that's what I did. And I, I had to kind of make up a story on the way there. I pitched it. Uh, they were uh, nice enough to say, fine, well, <laughs> you can keep the money. Went uh, back home. I wrote the script in three days and then we managed to keep the same di shooting dates, which was essential for us because we had a crew and uh, we couldn't afford to, to push even for one day. So that's how we did it. And the actors that you have, you have Marley Shelton and Freddie Rodriguez, did you have them set in place? Fre f yeah, good question. Good question. Uh, Freddie was actually, <laughs> <laughs> Freddie was, um, was in the original short, and then when we uh, shifted gears and went into mediation, he had worked with uh, Marley on, uh, uh, Grand, in, in Grindhouse, and he said, oh, she's perfect for that part, and so he set up a lunch, I met with her, she was uh, game immediately, and uh, we got along great, and so uh, I was lucky to be able to add her to the, to the cast. So what, like, how did you get into directing? Because your background is, is in acting. Was it something that you just sort of fell into? Or did you decide one day here in Los Angeles? Or did you decide back in Spain that you wanted to be a director? Um, actually, I started, uh, I did start uh, as an actor, but I started as, as a director almost at the same time. My, my first uh, film, the first film that I ever made as a writer-director, I was, uh, 13 or 14, not a masterpiece. Um, uh, so it kind of started at the same time, but yes, I, I did. Uh, I was lucky enough to make a living, not a great living, but a living as an actor. And, and I was in New York, and I was very lucky, as I said, to, uh, to be able to do some theater off Broadway and, and some film work. But uh, the entire time, there was something nagging at me that I wanted to uh, tell the story from a uh, or on a bigger canvas and that's when writing and directing kind of uh, picked up speed and when I moved to LA that's what did it and and what was the process like did you work with the studio when you when you got started in, in Los Angeles or were you just sort of a renegade and had a camcorder and sort of you know renegade all the way yes <laughs> uh, we um, yes we, we did uh, all the stuff that we did was you know indie um, I was uh, lucky enough that one of my scripts uh, picked up a lot of speed and so um, the one that I mentioned before that I almost made with Freddie and this incredible cast, uh, which probably will never assemble again, uh, unfortunately, uh, was at uh, Universal. Not produced by Universal, but I was um, out of the lot, and which, so I, it gave me a glimpse of 
how studio movies get made and the process and how the crews work, which was uh, an eye opener. And so I'm trying to combine both what I knew or what I know from the indie world and what I saw and learned from the studio world, somewhere in the middle. And is that where you prefer to be, is somewhere in the middle, not like... Look, I'm going to be wherever the money is, okay? <laughs> so give me the money, I'll be there. Uh, I, I, I think I'm probably attracted to stories that are um, very character driven, although I do, my love is genre films, um, thrillers, uh, action, crime drama, uh, but I do like character driven stuff. How much, you know, do you find that being Latino influences your filmmaking? I think a lot because I am Latin, that's who, who I am. As a, as a writer, I can only write who I am. Um, and so I see myself in every single character. Um, so I, of course it's gonna filter through and I think some of the flavor um, is gonna be Latin because of who I am. But I think my themes are universal and I hope they are universal so that they uh, expand uh, the audience beyond a Latin audience. But um, I, if that's from the creative sense, from the writing and obviously the directing, when when I start casting or I start putting my crew together, of course I'm going to keep my eye out for anybody who's Latin, uh, because if I'm lucky enough to be in a position that I can give somebody else a break, I will do that. And do you want to continue? That's a tough life. <laughs> it, is. it is. It's tough to be an actor. It's it very is. tough. Yeah. You should know. That's true. I do. I do. As an actor, it is a tough life, especially being, you know, a Latina actress. It's that's right. Yeah. Interesting. But here you are breaking those molds, which is hopefully little by little. I think that uh, as Latin filmmakers, and when I say filmmakers, I'm including actors, crews, everybody. Um, we should get a chance to tell, of course, our stories, uh, but also get a chance to expand beyond those stories if we choose to. And I think it's happening. I mean, there's, there's especially on TV. There's a lot of great people working on stuff that um, that is beyond those um, limitations, which is exciting. Yeah, and hopefully it'll, it still has a long way to go. It but, does, uh, it uh, does. Uh, well, I what I, I always try to do in, in my stuff, uh, the only thing that I can um, uh, speak of is um, I try to create a good character in a good story, and if that character happens to be Latin, that's great. Uh, but it's not necessarily what defines that character. And I think mediation is a good example of that. Freddy Rodriguez uh, plays a Latin character. I mean, Roman Lindo, there's a good chance that he's Latin. But it's not what drives him, although it is who he is too, and so that's part of it. And that's pretty much who I am as well. Well, thank you so much for taking the that's time. That's it? That's it. But I didn't even get to I know, get you my should have eaten the paint. Nothing. I'm sorry, but you had all the opportunity Okay, I'm in taking the world. those two to go. Can okay, we have just, a doggy just bag? Just don't take that one. That one's mine. That's yours? <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you so much. This is Lorena Magaño with New Filmmakers Los Angeles and Nouveau TV. Thank you so much, Francisco, for taking the time to talk to us. My pleasure, always. Check out Francisco Lorita's film, Mediation, uh, on demand, on... Um, just December kidding. 4th. December 4th. <laughs> On Nouveau TV, absolutely. Nouveau Check TV, it out, yes. please. Lorena Magaña with New Filmmakers Los Angeles and Nouveau TV from the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood. Thank you guys so much. Until next time.